Hi there everyone, it's Swifty. I am here today to talk about my latest deck that I've been building. It is my Omnath Locus of Creation deck. Nice showcase artwork for Omnath as the commander. <clears throat> Omnath is a, um, <clears throat> so it is Omnath Locus of Creation, uh, legendary creature elemental, uh, and it's got a couple of really cool effects um, that synergize as well with with landfall so um first when omnath looks of creation enters the battlefield draw a card uh so it replaces itself fantastic right uh, but it's not in the hand because it's gonna be in the command zone so um it's just extra card draw always good to have right then it's got landfall triggers pretty famous landfall triggers for omnath um so unlike a lot of landfall cards uh, Omnath can only trigger up to three times um, per instance of Omnath on your field. Um, so uh, whenever I land ETB, landfall effects go off. Uh, so gain four life if it's the first time this has resolved. If it's the second time, add uh, red, green, white, and blue um, to your mana pool. If it's the third time, deals four damage to each opponent and each plane walker, planeswalker you don't control. And it costs uh, red, green, white, blue. Right? <clears throat> so, with that, we've got some pretty cool stuff that goes along with Omnath. So I'm over here right now. Um, a, lot of land a lot of lands in this. So this is a very land-heavy deck. I'm sitting at around 45 lands for this, but it does matter. Um, I, I kind of went with heavy on the lands for a couple of reasons. One of the big reasons is um, I need to search for a lot of lands, search for a lot of basic lands. Got a lot of cards that do that. But also it gives me what I feel is a little bit more flexibility in my, in my opening, right? If I open, if I draw seven cards and I only get like one or two lands... I can be pretty confident that a land is pro is going to be coming up uh, next off the draw, right? So it means that I can I have a little bit more freedom for what my opening is. I have a little bit more freedom for what I look to mulligan for, um, and I can even mulligan down uh, if I want to uh, or need to, and throw those lands back in if I'm I have I have too many lands. So it's a it's a very good uh, oh frog is trying to join us. It's a very good uh, very good system for for that specifically. So let's look at a couple of things I have in here. Uh, we've got a cultivate um, cultivate if, uh, pretty much a, if you're in green it's a commander staple at this point because who doesn't like to grab more lands uh, and then guarantee your next land drop. But um, just a way to get more than one land drop per turn, which goes with the landfall effects. Mina and Den Wildborn are really good to have in here as well. Uh, can play additional lands on each, uh, an additional land on each of your turns. Uh, and then it's got uh, pay red and green, return a land you control to its owner's hand, target creature gains trample. I actually don't care too much about the trample. What I really care about is bouncing more lands back up if I somehow uh, don't have enough. Um, training center, uh, I pulled that from a pack, uh, fairly lucky, uh, just pulled that straight up, so battle bond land, always good to have, right? Um, Karn Silex is in here mainly because we are coming up on, uh, on Phyrexia, new Phyrexia, um, and what I, I want to, uh, I want to make sure I have something that can counter, um, all of the, uh, pay life instead of, instead of mana, um, so that's, that's why, that's why that's in there. Uh, I got some cool art for the planes. Neg negate, good to have if you're in blue. Vorinclex, all right. Vorinclex, fantastic to have. Um, if you're not familiar, Vorinclex, Monstrous Raider. You got Trample and Haste, it's a 6-6. Six, six. That's good enough, right? But, um, it's got the additional effects. Again, pretty famous. If you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player put twice as that many counters of those kinds on that permanent or player instead. Uh, and then if opponent would add counters, they do half rounded down. So basically just a lot of really good counter synergy. 
Um, and a lot of landfall effects add counters, so good to have. Uh, some uh, myriad landscape lets me lets me uh, search for two lands, so that's more land drops. Uncharted Haven, it's just in here in case in case I'm like drawing into lands that are not colors that I need. Um, Nisa, who shakes the world, synergizes very well with uh, landfall because we're throwing a bunch of lands out; they're becoming creatures. Um, Synergize as well for Vorinclex, because that'll double the loyalty it enters. Uh, she enters with. Uh, and then the minus eight, the ultimate, getting the end on lands you control have indestructible. Fantastic. And search for as many forests as you want and throw them, uh, throw them onto the battlefield tap. So ton of landfall triggers. Um, Nisa's Renewal, uh, search for three basic lands, put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle, gain seven life. Again, that's three landfall triggers right there. Crop Rotation, we're all familiar with what that does. Volacute, uh, our Valacute Exploration, um, this is actually a ton of fun because the more landfall stuff that you have, you're either adding more, um, you're adding more things that you can play, um, under Exile with it, um, and then if you don't play all of them, you're just dealing direct damage to each opponent, uh, with what you didn't play, so... Very good. Thought Vessel, no maximum hand size. There's some card draw in here, so good to good to have. Um, and it was just a lucky pull. All right, so here we're talking about counters before. Vorinclex goes great with these. Landfall, add a plus one, plus one. Landfall, add a plus one, plus one, and then it gains flying. So uh, that's for Prowling Felidar and Fearless Fledgling. Uh, really good for, for this because we're dropping a ton of land, so these... Uh, white creatures just become big and beefy. Uh, we got Vigilance over here and then flying on my turn um, over here. So really good, really good for this. Spitfire Legac, um, dealing damage, just pinging folks, always good. Uh, Birds of Paradise pulled that out of a pack. Um, good to have a Mana Dork. Uh, Beanstalk Giant, another classic. Um, so it's Adventurer. Or its adventure lets it uh, search for land, and then its power toughness is equal to the lands that you have. Fantastic. Harrow, um, sack a land, and then grab two lands. More landfall triggers, some basic lands. Frantic Search, I'm in blue. I pulled it from a pack. I'm not 100% about keeping it in here, but I'm. I, it's not bad. Rampaging Bayloths. Um, <laughs> Rampaging Bayloths can get out of hand, but it's a little expensive for what it does, and I feel like... Its effect, I actually might end up taking this out of here because its effect can be replicated for lower mana other places. Um, and that card slot might go better for something else, but we'll see. <coughs> Swords of Plowshares, if you're in white, may as well have it. I have all of the um, these um, uh, New Capenna lands that ETB, they sack themselves search for a basic whatever land so island swamp or mountain for this one don't have swamps in here but that's fine put it onto the battlefield tap and then uh shuffle and gain a life so good to have just generally speaking for that kind of stuff um and it's a two landfall triggers on its own uh and a gain of life not what's not to love right um that land enters tap so you can't use it that turn but I care less about the open mana for landfall and more about the other mana triggers. Uh, Traverse the Outlands. Um, search your library for X basic land cards, where X is the greatest power among the creatures you control. Put them onto the battlefield's half and then shuffle. As who knows how many landfall triggers, right? So really good uh, to do. Terminal more Rain, similar to... Um, uh, the uh, Myriad Landscape. Um, why I have that there. Uh, Boros Garrison, I might actually take this out and put a different land in here uh, for it, but it is fairly reliable, bounds a land back to you early on, so if I'm running out of lands, um, good to have. Nice little uh, Galaxy Foil Island from uh, Infinity. Uh, and then Radiant Fountain. I wanted a little bit of life gain in here because I have some life gain. I have a one life gain win con in here, so um, may as well, right? And it enters untapped. Uh, command tower, of course, uh, some basic lines. Field research from running low on cards. I'm probably going to have the lands to play it, so may as well. 
Karametra. Karametra is an interesting one. Um, so it's one of the one of the gods, right? So it does the um, indestructible, and if your um, devotion is less than, it's not a creature. But it the big thing is at the bottom here. Whenever you cast a creature spell, search your library for a forest or plains, put it onto the battlefield. Basically, get another landfall, right? Fantastic. Um, harmonize, draw three cards. Yeah, we you know what that's for. Core cartographer. Uh, get ETB, grab a planes. Uh, it enters tapped, but again, we're not really caring about that. Skyclave Pickaxe is an interesting one. Because um, it's cheap, uh, so it's only it's one green, um, and ETB it attaches itself to a creature. Landfall, uh, target uh, our equipped creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Um, so if you're doing a Traverse the Outlands and you get seven landfalls, you get plus 14, plus 14. Uh, goes goes pretty ham, right? Uh, Thorngant Bridge, um, I have Obun. Oh, here it is, Obun. So this is an indestructible land. Um, really, really not super important, except with Obun. Uh, beginning of the combat on your turn, uh, up to one target land... Uh, you control becomes an XX elemental uh, with trample on haste where X is Obun's power and Obun has landfall gaining plus one plus one. So uh, kind of a thing I, I used to do before I started um, getting serious about this was attach Skyclave here, uh, get some landfalls, pump this on up as quickly as you can. Thornglint Bridge as an indestructible land can just go out as a 14-14 or a 15-15 or whatever and uh, just take care of business. What else we got? Territorial Scythe Cat. Uh, landfall. Uh, plus one, plus one counter on itself and it's a trample. Uh, good to have. Um, actually, this has been this has been a workhorse uh, for landfall decks for me. Um, so, uh, good good mm, pardon me, good card for that. Field of Ruin, so might pull it out of here. Actually, it, it does, you know, it's a landfall in and of itself, and then it sacks an opponent's land, and then everybody gets land. So it's like a kind of a pseudo group hug type deal. Main thing is that it can landfall twice for me because everybody gets a land, basic land to put onto the battlefield, um, which. The, it might be a later one if I really need a landfall. Chasm do Nectar Pot. Landfall gain a life. Uh, cleansing Wildfire. Destroy target land. So this is a good one um, because this is versatile in this deck because I can use it on an opponent or I can use it on myself if I really need some more landfall. And then I get to draw a card. So pretty versatile. Omnath Locus of Rage. Uh, creates five five elementals on um, on landfall, and then if it or another elemental I control dies, it deals three damage to target creature or player. I actually used this to win uh, Commander Knight on Friday uh, this past Friday uh, because I had a Zendikar's Royal out and this, and I had a bunch of uh, those elementals, and someone wiped the board and. All of those died, and they dealt like twenty-seven or thirty damage to uh, to the the guy that wiped the board, and he he was the uh, he was the last uh, opponent at that point. Oh, Zendikar's Royal! I was just talking about that uh, landfall creating two two green elementals. Ground assault, not not a bad card to have when you're going to have a ton of lands. I it only does damage to target creature, but that is some targeted removal for pretty cheap considering how many lands this are going to be out deliberate again you're in you're in blue may as well might take that out but i have some blue so maybe tazim uh raptor uh etb return a land i control to its owner's hand this is good if i'm kind of not drawing the mana i need Springville Druid, um, this is a very, just, um, this is ha a Harrow, no, sorry, this is Roiling Regrowth, right, this is, all this is is Roiling Regrowth as a creature, um, 
so I like I have Roiling Ring Growth in here, but the thing I like about this um, is that one, it can be a, a, you know a easy chump block. Uh, but I'm also not worried as after it's gone after it's out on the field, I don't care about it. Like it can leave if it needs to. It's done the main job. Counterspell, of course, and then Opal Palace. Um, Opal Palace is taking up a land slot. Uh, it filters one mana of any color uh, in your commander's identity and then adds a counter to the commander if the, you're using that mana to cast it uh, at a 1 1 counter. So, not bad to have by any means. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about that. It's not overly spectacular, uh, but it's not bad either. We'll kind of go through a couple more cards here um, just to kind of show out. Uh, Tajuru Blightblade is just a 1-1 one, one death touch. Um, you know, good early game to have out as protection. Um, Ruin Crab, okay. I love Ruin Crab in a mill deck. It's fantastic. In this deck where my goal is not to mill my opponents, um, it's okay. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, when you can landfall seven and have some have them each mill 21 cards, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, just less materials. It depends, depends who you're playing against. You know, someone got a bunch of Graveyard Matters, Graveyard Recursion, that kind of stuff. This is the uh, life gain um win con i was talking about so test of endurance uh beginning of your upkeep you have 50 more life you win the game omnath gives you life on landfall there's a uh, cousin do nectar pot gives life um so there's there's a bunch of ways to gain life pretty quickly it's not this isn't built around life gain though this is just like have this in here can come in clutch right um, if you've got nothing else going. That actually combined with Last Chance, which is just right next to it, this is the actual win con, right? So if I, by the time I'm, have, I'm to a point where I've got 50 and enough land here, um, I'm going to be able to take care of it. So, you know, throw that down, throw down Last Chance, win the game, right? course they can both be countered or something else could happen you know uh disenchant or whatever well uh not disenchant on the last chance uh, the thing is it is a last chance take an extra turn or loot uh and then at the beginning of that turns in step to lose the game uh so uh you gotta be very careful about when you do that banishing light if you're in white you gotta have it terramorph uh really cool thing about this is it rebounds so it's three and a green to search for a basic land doesn't sound great but with the rebound effect, after you cast it, you exile it, and then at the beginning of your upkeep, you can cast it again without paying the mana cost. So it's two land, two land drops for that um, three and a green across multiple turns, which for something like Omnath, where the order of your landfall matters, can actually be can actually be worth it. Uh, Jungle Shrine, we all know what that does. Canopy Bayloth um, gains plus two, plus two uh, on landfall uh, till end of turn. I might actually take this out because there, I think there's better for four mana um, that I could I could do. Roiling Regrowth, we talked about that. Brushfire Elemental, uh, nice, pretty, kind of the worst Pringle in this um, in this deck, unfortunately. Uh it's a green and a red. It's got haste. It's a 1-1. One, one. Can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Always good early game. And landfall uh, gains plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. So that's a really good early game swinger. Uh, absorb. We all know what that does. Evolving Wilds. We all know what that, that does. Broken Wings. Um, good green removal uh, to have. Elvis Rejuvenator. Um, again... Kind of good to have, um, not super necessary, but you know, good to have for that landfall. Because ETB, look at the top five cards of your library, throw, drop land from among them, tapped, and then put the rest on the library in a random order. Can come in for those landfalls. Mana drain, 
we're in blue. May as well, right? Pyroclastic Helion. Um, ETB, return a land I control to its owner's hand. If I do, it deals two damage to each opponent. Uh, the creature does. Um, good for bouncing a land up. Kadama's Reach is just to cultivate. Uh, one of those other New Capenna lands. Uh, Naya Paranorama. Uh, one to tap and sack it to get a land. Enters tapped. Uh, the land does, not not Naya Paranorama. Scale the Heights, play an additional land on your turn, draw a card, and put a 1-1 one, one creature, 1-1 uh, one, one counter onto the target. Oh, and you gain two life. Path of the Ancestry, kind of a commander staple. We all know what that does. Marasa Root Grazer. You can uh, tap it to put a basic land from your hand to the battlefield or tap it to return a basic land you control to its owner's hand. The problem I always have with this, and it's just, just kind of variance, luck of the draw type deal. I always either draw this way too early or way too late for it to be useful. And there are always other plays. <laughs> um, if it had haste, that would change things, right? But it doesn't have haste, uh, so it just it's one of those that I might end up. If it's in my hand, it stay. If it's in my hand and it's not super specific, it stays in my hand for the rest of the game, basically. Soul Ring, we all know what that does. One of those other new Kavana Disenchant. We were just talking about that. Terramorphic Expanse. Um, tap it, sack it to get another land. So that's two landfalls, one turn. Avenger of Zendikar, pretty famous one. Um, ETB creates a 0-1 green plant uh, creature token for each land you control. In a landfall, that's going to be a lot. And then it also has the additional effect, landfall. Um, put a 1-1 counter on each plant you control. So that can make you have just an army of plants that are super strong. Um, Frostboil Snare. Pulled that from a Strixhaven one. Um... Yeah, that's just fine. And then a Jawari Disruption. Again, I need some stuff for blue to have a good counter. And it's also a land in case I really need it. A uh, cool thing about this, actually, is if I drop it as land and then I have to bring a land back up, then I have access to a counter spell. Not the most powerful counter, mind you. Um, but it can slow some stuff down. And then last but not least, we got a circuitous route. Search the library for up to two basic land cards and or gate cards. Put them on the battlefield, tap them on the shuffle. It's just get more landfall. <laughs> so you can see the conceit of this deck is all about landfall. Now, I have a couple more cards that I'm going to put in here. That's why there are some things in here that are not super optimized. I'm just waiting for them to arrive. Like, I want to throw a Scoot Swarm in here uh, because I love a Scoot Swarm. Uh, I know, I know blasphemy, right? Who who would bring out a scoot swarm? But it's a landfall deck, and then we're gonna have a thousand land trigger landfall triggers, right? So you may as well. Um Yeah, so that's that's basically this deck. Um it's been a ton of fun to play with. I really like landfall as a mechanic because you've gotta play lands to play the game anyway, so you may as well have them do something for you. But that was that's it. That's that's the uh, that's the deck that I've been working with um, and kind of adding some improvements to. It looks so thick because it's double sleeved. Uh, Dragon Shield inners and outers. Um, love Dragon Shield. They are the best in the business as far as I'm concerned, um, for the price point at the very least. But yeah, so that's Omnath uh, Locus of Creation deck that I've been working on. Um, and hopefully, hopefully I'll be continuing to improve this. This has let me, this, uh, let me win at, um, Friday Night Magic. We were doing a Commander Night Friday Night Magic. Uh, came in first, got a couple of packs of, um, Dominaria United set boosters out of that. So, good stuff, right? Anyway, this has been Swifty. I will go ahead and sign off, and we'll talk to you later.